They talk about Jesus and the good things he's done. Flame wide these gates, let's see his kingdom come. song won't that be a grand day hey if you're here for deliverance or healing folks you're in the right place my name is pastor Nate and I'm the original founder of deliverance revolution we work with uh, Abba Father Jehovah Yahweh his son Jesus Christ and of course the Holy Spirit uh, our ministry partner is Demetrius Reed from the West Coast um, if you will excuse me just one second so again, I want to thank you for joining us here, and if you have a need for deliverance and healing, all deliverance and healing is done by this man that is the Son of God, uh, Jesus Christ. You see this is the Shroud of Turin picture. You see the amazing energy that brought him back to life right there. With that said, let's just get started, folks, with deliverance and healing. Whatever your needs are, remember that God absolutely loves you, and you, if you will call on him, you will find him. Now, folks, I'm sorry I don't have more video. I am really trying to start on that. I feel like I've been making excuses. A lot of people don't have help. Well, a lot of ministries do, too, and they have people filming, and they seem to get up videos of people getting delivered. We're delivering a lot of people, but don't have a lot of videos of deliverance getting online, and that is frustrating. So I am working to change that. Um, but it just needs resources. If there's any of you out there that are watching this and appreciate what we're doing here, or you've received deliverance or healing uh, through the Deliverance Revolution ministry, but mainly through Jesus Christ, then feel, feel free to go to the website at deliverancerevolution.org to the appreciation gift and make a monthly commitment there. That's what we need is reoccurring revenue there instead of just one-time gifts unless of course it's a large one-time gift or an office building or furniture or things like that and we'll absolutely take uh, those resources and we will take it to the world um, if you are computer savvy and can edit video and audio and that kind of thing we could really use your help if you're a minister of the Lord and want to get into uh, uh, deliverance and you believe the Lord's told you to get in deliverance uh, Demetrius Reed my um, ministry partner is launching the education and training center I believe that's only going to be two hundred dollars per person uh, per Abba there so I think that's a pretty good deal considering we're going to take our education and knowledge and put it in your head so two hundred dollars a person there uh, to basically teach you to be a warrior for the kingdom and that's coming soon okay um, now what else I think that is it. And if you feel like you've received some deliverance or healing or something from uh, the ministry in the past, please go to deliverancerevolution.org and feel free to contribute. With that said, though, the first thing I want to do, assuming that all of you are saved, all of you are Christians, okay, and, but maybe you've made a mistake, okay, tonight is going to be for renouncing membership to evil associations, okay, now that is the, the fecal, a.k.a. Satan, that is any demonic entity or club or anything like that, go now, demons, in the name of Jesus, get off me, get off me, out of this office, off my head, 
This is the blood of Jesus Christ I soak you with right now. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. Hallelujah. So, again, let's just do a refresher. Lord Jesus, please come into my life. Say it. Come into my life. You are the center of my life. You are Lord over my life. You are master over my life. I renounce Satan. I renounce all demonic activity. I renounce all evil. I rebuke it. Save me, Lord Jesus. Save me by your blood. Hallelujah. Save me by the blood. I want to know you. I want to be a part of your kingdom. I'm sorry for the mistakes I've made in the past. I now renounce those mistakes. I rebuke the enemy and I lift you up, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Way to go. Way to go. In Jesus' name, amen. Here we go. Renouncing membership of evil associations. I will be reading from a prompter here. I reject, repeat after me, I reject, revoke, and renounce my membership with Jezebel spirit, marine spirit, water spirit, queen of the coast, mermaid spirit, familiar spirit, witches and wizards, spirits of the dead, and all other occult societies in the name of Jesus. Two, I would draw and cancel my name from their registers with the blood of Jesus. I withdraw and cancel my name from the registers with the blood of Jesus. Three, I reject and renounce all such names given to me in any of these evil associations in the name of Jesus. Four, if you're starting to wonder what you're doing again, this is to rebuke Satan, demonic entities, any witchcraft, any occult. This is any way that you have made a mistake and pledged yourself to the enemy. This is how you rebuke it with the blood of Jesus. This is the blood of Jesus. And you're bringing the crucifix, you're bringing the cross, the mighty hand of Jesus, and you're bringing it right down through it. And you're cutting that line and saying, no, no, I rebuke with the blood of Jesus. I stand with the righteousness of Jesus Christ through what he did on the cross. Sorry to yell, but I'm putting this message out to the universe and I'm making it clear. <clears throat> Enemy that is attacking any of the precious souls listening to this, I rebuke you now in the name of Jesus. Come out, demon. Father, I ask that the Holy Spirit please deliver this to whoever's going to watch this in the future and pound down the Holy Spirit. Bring it down upon them right now like baptismal fire. Baptismal fire. Father, I take the consecrated blood of Jesus right now. Holy consecrated oil. Father, I bind down any third eye that exists right there. Any third eye. I shut it down. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that holy angels be dispatched and rip out the third eye of Ra. Rip out the third eye of divination, any type of familiar spirit, uh, relative, whatever the case may be, may be ripped out right now. No more. In the name of Jesus, I brand this hand with the blood of Jesus. This hand with the blood of Jesus. May that precious soul now have a cross on their forehead and the kingdom on the forehead and on both palms, ruining any plans of the enemy. Repeat after me, folks. Repeat after me, folks. I resign my position of any of these associations and withdraw my services and responsibilities permanently in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I reject all the evil works I have done to innocent people I reject all the evil works I have done to innocent people through my membership with these evil associations. Get flat down on the face if need be. And I ask the Almighty God to forgive me and wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. 
Praise the Lord. If you feel under severe attack, I want you just to yell out, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, please help me. I rebuke you, enemy, now in the name of Jesus. Go from me in the name of Jesus. I reject all evil. Keep repeating after me. I reject all evil works I've done to innocent people through my membership with these evil association. And I ask the Almighty God to forgive me and wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. Praise his name. Six, I purge myself of all evil foods I had eaten in any of the evil associations with the blood of Jesus. Seven, I bind you water spirits, marine spirits, queen of the coast, Jezebel spirits, Familiar spirits operating in my life with hot chains and fetters of God. And I cast you out into the deep and seal you with unquenchable fire of God. Father, we ask right now that this fire be at 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Unquenchable fire of God at 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. In the mighty name of Jesus, praise you, Father. Thank you. You are so wonderful. Praise you. Let's do that one again. That one sounded like we're really ripping some damage out of the enemy. I bind you, water spirits, marine spirits, queen of the coast, and Jezebel spirits. Familiar spirits operating in my life with hot chains and fetters of God. And cast you out into the deep and seal you with unquenchable fire of God at 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. In the name of Jesus. Now go like this. Praise your mighty name. Kind of lower your head. Lift up the name of Jesus. Praise the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus redeems. Satan, the blood of Jesus redeems. Satan, swallow the blood of Jesus. It redeems. You seeing it, folks? You getting it? That's where the power is. He knows that. Make him eat it. Make him eat it, folks. Be forceful. You're in control. I talk to people every day. They're sleeping in their cars. It, no offense. I love the precious souls who tell me this, but it's insanity. These are your homes. These are your vehicles. These are your lives. The enemy's just running over you roughshod. They're raping you. They're having sexual molestation on you. This is insanity, folks. The name of Jesus, it's in the Bible. The problem is most of you don't know the Word of God, and you think you do. Listen. Mouth closed. Ears open. Listen. Take your New Age books and lies and throw it in the garbage. Better yet, in the fireplace. Tell your friends that mean well, say, shh, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Unless they're talking about Jesus in the Holy Bible. It's all right. You can love them. Just say, shh, shut up. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. You're on a one-way path to hell. Be quiet and listen to me. And then we take them truth out of the Word of God, the name of Jesus, okay? But you do it lovingly. You don't have to be ugly. You don't have to be ugly at all. Truth is just truth. People spout out all kinds of things that they think they know. That's the enemy operating through them. You deal in truth, okay? So here we go. Number eight. I withdraw any part of my body and blood deposited on their evil altars in the name of Jesus I withdraw any part of my body and blood deposited on their evil altars in the name of Jesus. Nine, I withdraw my pictures, image, and inner man from the altars and covens of the evil associations in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my picture and image and inner man from the altars and covens of the evil associations in the name of Jesus. Ten, I return any of the things of evil associations I am connected with the instruments and any other properties at my disposal for the executions of duties that you were given and being a part of whatever this evil cult, witchcraft, or coven, or satanic thing was in the name of Jesus. I hereby confess 
total separation from this evil association in the name of Jesus Christ. Say it again. I hereby confess total separation from the evil association in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord Jesus. Throw that in. Holy Spirit, build a wall of fire around me. Holy Spirit, build a wall of fire around me that will completely make it not possible for these evil spirits to come to me again. Holy Spirit, build a wall of fire around me that will make it completely not possible for these evil spirits to come to me again. I cover myself now with the blood of Jesus. Father, I ask that anything that's on my body, python, snake, uh, crab, snail, whatever it may be right now, Father, I ask that it be just completely frozen and bound right now with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy angels, I ask that you just come and get it and take whatever these things are off to the pit. Hallelujah. And I just continue to let the blood of Jesus rain down upon me. Absolutely, I do. Hallelujah. Man, let's go. I break any covenant binding me of any of these evil associations in the name of Jesus. I break all inherited covenants and all such covenants I consciously and unconsciously entered into in the name of Jesus. I break all inherited covenants and all such covenants I consciously and unconsciously entered into in the name of Jesus. Fifteen, I bind the demons attached to these covenants and cast them into the deep in the name of Jesus. Fifteen, I bind the demons attached to these covenants and I cast them into the deep. Let's go with the pit or the lake of lava in the name of Jesus. Praise his name. Sixteen, I resist every attempt to return me back to the evil associations with the blood of Jesus. Just felt something on the leg. Father, I ask that we just bind that right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus right now. Let's fill up with the blood of Jesus right here so we get proper tormenting on both ends. That's where the enemy's bucking and kicking. So anytime they mess with me, that's their acknowledgement that this stuff is absolutely real. They know it is. They know it is. You don't believe me? Look at the uh, scratches that I'm going to show you on my leg. I cover my legs and body with the blood of Jesus. I cover my floor with the blood of Jesus. Get off this floor right now. Enemy, go. In the name of Jesus. You're not allowed in this room. Get out of here. What are you doing? In the name of Jesus. Go right now. Go right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blood of Jesus. Let's go. Enemy right now. In the name of Jesus. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Man, you got to love the name of Jesus. I renounce and revoke all the oaths I took while entering these evil associations. So again, any satanic clubs, demonic clubs, the club of Ra, anything to do with Egypt when you traveled, even if you thought it was in fun. You need to break it, renounce it, folks. That's serious, serious entry. Rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. I break and cancel every evil. Mark incision writing placed in my spirit and body as a result of my membership of this evil association. All tattoos, earrings, Sexual encounters, anything, blood, semen, whatever else, give it back, rebuke it, reject it, renounce all rape by demons or masturbation or fantasy or pictures or anything else. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I break all covenants inherited from my ancestors on the father and mother's side, going all the way back to Adam in the name of Jesus. I break all covenants inherited from my ancestors on the father and mother's side in the mighty name of Jesus going all the way back to Adam on both sides. Number 20, Lord, break down every evil foundation of my life and rebuild it, a new foundation, a new one on Christ the Rock, a.k.a. the Rock. Hallelujah. 
21, I command the baptismal fire of God to roast and burn to ashes every evil bird, snake, or any other animal attached to my life by the evil association in the name of Jesus. Let's go this. Father, I am humbly coming to you and asking that the fire of God be made at 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Mighty Father, who I love and worship and place all my faith and hopes in, you are everything. You are ruler and creator of all. You are over all. I'm asking for the fire of God to roast and descend at 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit to burn to ashes every evil bird, snake, or animal attached to my life along with all demonic and satanic entities by this evil association in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 22. I dismantle every hindrance, obstacle, or blockage put in my way of progress by my involvement in these evil associations in the name of Jesus. Here we go. 22 again. I dismantle mantle every hindrance, obstacle, or blockage put in my way of progress by my involvement in these evil associations in the name of Jesus. Mm. Twenty-three, all the doors of blessings and breakthroughs shut against me due to my involvement in these evil associations. I command them to open now in the mighty name of Jesus. In other words, all. All the doors of blessings and breakthroughs shut against me due to my involvement in these evil associations. I command you to open in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Here we go into curses. Let's break them, folks. Curses. I break and cancel every inherited curse in the name of Jesus. Father, I break. Repeat after me. Come on, folks. Let's get serious. Let's get raw. And let's get real. Because this is real life stuff. I break and cancel every inherited curse in the name of Jesus. Two, Lord, remove from me all the curses placed upon my ancestral families as a result of their evil associations. Involvement in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, remove from me all the curses placed upon my ancestral family as a result of their evil associations and involvement in the mighty name of Jesus. Three, I break and cancel every curse placed upon me by my parents in the name of Jesus. you have questions on these, give me a holler, but there's curses of the womb, curse of the vagabond, they go on and on. Four, I break and cancel every curse, spell, hex, enchantment, bewitchment, incantation placed upon me by my involvement with evil association in the name of Jesus. Repeating, I break and cancel every curse, spell, hex, enchantment, bewitchment, incantation placed upon me by my involvement with evil association in the name of Jesus. Five, I break and revoke every blood and soul tie covenant. Repeat after me, folks. Let's get serious. I break and revoke every blood and soul tie covenant and yokes attached to them in the name of Jesus. Six, I purge myself of all the evil foods I have eaten in the evil world with the blood of Jesus and purify myself with the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Let's repeat it. I purge myself of all evil foods I have eaten in the evil world with the blood of Jesus and purify myself with the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. All demonic spirits attached to all these covenants and curses be roasted with the fire of, greed, fire of God at no less than 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit in the name of Jesus. Wow, what a roasting. Eight, I declare my body, soul, and spirit a no-go area 
Hey, let's start over. I declare my body, let's put some passion in it, let's put some sincerity in here. Eight, I declare my body, soul, and spirit a no-go area for all evil spirits. In the name of Jesus, deliverance from spirit, husband, or wife. Hallelujah. That's the next one. Deliverance from spirit, husband, or wife. Number eight was I declare my body, soul, and spirit a no-go area for all evil spirits in the name of Jesus. And I want you to get on your knees and cry and say, thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. If you have too much ego to do that, then come back after you've done some more experimental sinning. If you live through it and you don't end up in some place rough, come on back because they love you. Absolutely. More than you can imagine. But if you've got too much pride or ego, that's got to be removed. You've got to be dead from flesh. It's got to be carved away. It's not always easy. Deliverance from spirit, husband, or wife. There are entities that will go marry you in the spirit realm and believe they have the right to rape you. I talk to people. I work with them every day. If you are watching this and you've been a Christian since you were a little boy and your wife's a Christian, your whole family's a Christian, you don't think, what in the world is Nate talking about? Is he going crazy? No. It's just stuff you're just not aware of. But I love you. Pick up your Bible and look. Read Jesus' work. 33% of everything he said was about healing and casting out demons. It's real. You just haven't been suspect, uh, uh, susceptible to it because your love for Jesus. Bottom line. Here we go, folks. I divorce and renounce my marriage with the spirit husband. Or, if you're a man, I divorce and renounce my marriage with the spirit wife right now in the name of Jesus. Repeat it, folks. This is real. I divorce and renounce my marriage with the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. Two, I break all covenants entered into with the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. Two, I break all covenants entered into with the spirit, husband, or wife in the name of Jesus. Three, I command the thunder fire of God to burn the ashes. Father, we ask that this be at no less than 3,000 degrees. Burn to ashes the wedding gown, ring, photographs, and all other materials used for this marriage in the mighty name of Yeshua. That's Jesus. Burn it, folks. Burn everything, the gown, the ring, photographs, and materials in the marriage in the name of Jesus. You're renouncing this marriage. Ascend the fire of God to burn the ashes, the marriage certificate, 3,000 degrees, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I break every blood and soul tie covenant with the spirit, husband, or wife in the name of Jesus. I want you to speak it, folks. Say, I break every blood and soul tie covenant with the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. Not yours. The spirit husband or wife. Six, I send the thunder fire of God to burn ashes. The children born to the marriage in the name of Jesus. Again, you are sending fire. Thunder fire of God to burn ashes, the children born to the marriage in the name of Jesus. Serious business, folks. Seven, I withdraw my blood, sperm, or any other part of my body deposited in the offer, altar of the spirit, husband, or wife in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my blood, sperm, ovum, or any other part of my body Deposit in the altar of the spirit, husband, or wife in the name of Jesus. Eight, I bind you, spirit, husband. Look, right here. Demonic principality or demon or Satan. I bind you, spirit, husband, or wife. You tormenting piece of fecal in my life. And tormenting my earthly marriage with hot chains and fetters of God and cast you out of my life in the pit or the lake of fire at no less than 3,000 degrees and command you never to come into my life again in the name of Jesus. Get out of my life now in the name of Jesus forever. Mark 9.25 says, Thou fallen and unclean wicked spirit, go now and do not return in the name of Jesus. 9. I return to you your property and my possession in the spirit world, 
9. I return to you your property and my possession in the spirit world, including the dowry and whatsoever was used for the marriage and covenants in the name of Jesus. I return to you the property and my possession in the spirit world, including the dowry and whatsoever was used for the marriage and covenants in the name of Jesus. 10. I drain myself of all evil materials deposited in my body. How about that for graphic? I drain myself of all evil materials deposited in my body as a result of our sexual relation with the blood of Jesus. Praise his mighty name. Nothing else can do that. Get out, fecal demons and spirits. Go now in the name of Jesus. You are rejected. You are regurgitated out with the blood of Jesus. 11. Lord, send Holy Ghost fire. I love it. Brother Swagger used to say, Holy Ghost fire. So we're saying it now. Lord, send Holy Ghost fire into my root at no less than 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit and burn out all unclean things deposited in it by the spirit husband or the spirit wife in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Humbly request this. Father God, Lord, please send Holy Ghost fire into my root, your core. Burn out all unclean things at no less than 3,000 degrees deposited by the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Twelve. I break the head of the snake. So let's do this. I break the head of the snake deposited by the spirit husband or wife to do me harm and command you to come out in the name of Jesus. So here's what we're going to need to do. Father, if it be your will, please give these nails and spikes absolute power in the unseen world to drive straight through the head of the snake and sever. You're chopping that snake. His head, chop it off. Grab it right there. Father, I break the head of the snake deposit by the spirit husband or wife to do more harm and command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Father, I take the hot consecrated blood of Jesus and I kill the snake head and I ask that this be no less than 3,000 degrees, that all venom be deactivated. You'll see the light flash. Hallelujah. We cut the snake head right there. We cut it completely off. Holy angels, I'm going to throw it down over here with all due respect. If you would please take this and throw it into the pit in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much, and we praise your mighty name. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, hallelujah, thank you. Angels, thank you so much for your assistance always. 13, I purge out with the blood of Jesus every evil material deposited into my womb to prevent me from having children on earth. Well, it's a shame I didn't know about this a while ago for certain people. I purge out with the blood of Jesus every evil material deposited into my womb to prevent me from having children on earth. Repeat it, folks. Doesn't matter if you think it counts. Repeat it. Come to the Lord. Come to Him. 14. Lord, repair and restore every damage done to any part of my body and my earthly marriage. Very important. By the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. This is good stuff. I want to get my wife to say this prayer. I reject and cancel every curse, evil pronouncement, spell, jinx, Enchantment and incantation placed upon me. Excuse me, folks. Placed upon me by the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. 15. I reject and cancel every curse, evil pronouncement, spell, jinx, enhancement, enchantment, incantation placed upon me by the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. 16. I take back and possess all my earthly belongings in the custody of the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. 
I can't help you with how you would do that except speak these words out loud and mean it. I take back and possess all my earthly belongings in the custody of the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. 17. I command the spirit husband or wife to permanently turn his or her back on me forever in the name of Jesus. I can do better than that. I command the spirit husband or wives, you will permanently turn your back and leave or we will destroy you in the name of Jesus. You will not return. You are beat. You are not wanted. You are not welcome. And we blast you right now in the face with the blood of Jesus right there. If you're right there, spirit or demon, we blast you right in the face, spirit, husband, or wife. Blast you right in the face, the ears. Go now in the name of Jesus. Eyes, mouth, get out now in the name of Jesus. You are not wanted. You are not needed. You are rebuked and rejected. You have never been needed or wanted, and you were rebuked. You were here on illegal grounds. Go now. You're on righteous property, and you are evil. Go now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 18. I renounce and reject the name given to me by the spirit, husband, or wife in the name of Jesus. I renounce and reject the name given to me by the spirit, husband, or wife in the name of Jesus. 19. I hereby declare and confess that the Lord Jesus Christ is my husband till eternity in the name of Jesus. I hereby declare and confess that the Lord Jesus Christ is my husband till eternity in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus and cancel the evil mark or writings placed on me in the name of Jesus. All tattoos, let's burn them off, folks. Get some deliverance. Get all that poison out. Get that toxicity out. Reject it. Reject it. Whatever you've marked your body up with, reject it. You worship the Lord thy God only, and Him only. And Jesus did not need you to mark your body up with a tattoo. I set myself free from the strongholds and domineering power and bondage of the spirit, husband, or wife. In the name of Jesus, I set myself free from the stronghold and domineering power. That's witchcraft and bondage of the spirit, husband, or wife in the mighty name of Jesus. I break the back of my spirit, husband, with the blood of Jesus right now in the mighty name of Jesus with his mighty blood. Hallelujah. I paralyze the remote control power being used to destabilize my earthly marriage. I paralyze, in the name of Jesus, the remote power being used to destabilize my earthly marriage and to hinder my childbearing for my earthly husband or wife, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And with that, again, I completely soak the spirit, husband, or wife, and I rub the blood of Jesus all into your face, therefore burning off any recognizable features of your face. Father, I ask that that be granted now in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that this be taken up to 3,000 degrees. I take the blood of Jesus on any demonic spirit face that being held there. I put the face of Jesus on there. I literally sizzle the face of Jesus into any demonic spirit that be there and burn his own face off in the name of Jesus. You have no recognizable features but the beautiful, precious face of Yeshua. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you. We love you. We love you and worship you. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Get off, evil spirits. I feel you down here. You're trying to die, toe cheese dive. Go in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. I think you're toe cheese diving. Let's go in the name of Jesus. Out. Out, you abominable pieces of fecal. Get out. All right, let's move forward. 22. Breaking covenants and yokes. 
I break every evil covenant with water spirits and the yokes attached to it in the name of Jesus. Repeat after me, folks. Very serious. You're breaking a covenant or yoke. I break every evil covenant that you made with water spirits and the yokes attached to it in the name of Jesus. Two, I break and cancel every covenant with any idol and the yokes attached to it in the name of Jesus. I break and cancel every covenant and any idol and the yokes attached to it in the name of Jesus. Three, I break and cancel any evil covenants entered into by my parents on my behalf and all the yokes attached to them in the name of Jesus. Free them off you. I break and cancel any evil covenants entered into me by my parents on behalf and all the yokes attached in the name of Jesus. Free me, Lord Jesus. Free me. I rebuke any deals anyone's made for my life unless it involves being married to you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's roast them. Light them up. Demonic entity of cancer, come out of my throat now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I command the fire of God at 3,000 degrees to roast the forces of hindrance and obstacles and paralyze their power in the name of Jesus. That was a good one. <clears throat> Spirit of cancer, I'm roasting you right now with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I ask that the blood of Jesus just go in my throat and cure all cancer cell, anything that this evil spirit's trying to do in my throat, and just thank you for full restoration. I command and humbly beg for the fire of God at 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit to roast the forces of hindrance and obstacles and paralyze their power in the name of Jesus. Five, Lord, let the Holy Ghost defect Immediately, 3,000 degrees, breakthrough in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the Holy Ghost effect immediately break through in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a beautiful thing. Six, I confess that my deliverance shall remain permanent, never to be reversed again in the name of Jesus. Wow. I confess that my deliverance shall remain permanent never to be reversed again in the name of Jesus. That's just beautiful stuff. Folks, if you prayed these prayers tonight, what you have done is broken up any agreements that you've made with Satan or demonic entities. If you're the spirit of Ra or Teratut or Bakasha or whoever in your head, all these old names and they're talking to you and trying to take over, you have just rebuked them. If you're in serious bondage and having a hard time breakthrough, keep praying this daily. Call me. Get the curse-breaking prayer and go through this. Get the door-closing prayer and go through this. Go to our website, to the Contact Us page. Fill out the information. Say, please, send me the door-closing prayer. Folks, this deliverance, a lot of people are confused on. And things like calling up and saying, I went to three or four ministers, they couldn't deliver me and all this. It's not about them, folks. It's about you. This is who this is about. Deliverance is between you and God. Not some poor deliverance minister out there working himself to death for no money. And I'm not talking about me. I'm just talking about in general. I need to be clear on that, folks. This is war. Serious, serious business. But most of us have been wallowing in sin our whole lives. And then we just think that literally we're just going to pop up and say a few prayers and why isn't everything perfect? I'll tell you why. Because it doesn't work that way. We've been wallowing in sin. But there is the message of grace. And he does love you, folks. And I love you, too. And I'm just being hard on you because I want you to get tough. And I want you to dig in. But I love you, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. I can tell you that. You can ask anybody. Folks, if you appreciate what's been done here tonight, go to the appreciation gift. If you're one of this kind that just doesn't give, then just don't give, because nothing I'm going to say is going to make a difference. And if you're one of those kind that do give, it means you've got Christ in your heart anyway, and you're going to give no matter what I say. So how about them apples? I love you. 
I'm praying for you. God bless you. Pray for me. Amen. Amen. and thanks for joining DeliveranceRevolution.org and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. It's all about Jesus and the good things he's done. Fling wide these gates, let's see his kingdom come.